We can hear a lot about leadership without really understanding what it is, because there are a lot of different definitions and people look at it differently. Some people look at leadership and think charisma, that you have to have charisma to be a good leader. So, and certainly there are examples of charismatic leaders, people who employ charisma to great effect in their leadership you know, style and ability. Uh, but that's maybe too narrow an approach. Some people think inspiration leaders have to inspire and they, and they do inspire us. And that's, that's true too. There are lots of good leaders who do use inspiration and inspire people to great effect. And, and that's a big part of their leadership style. Yet other people though, think of leadership as a management structure. When they think of leadership, they think of their corporate structure and just, you know, what's the line of report. But I, I think we can all imagine that we've had uh, bosses that may have been in charge, may have had that authoritative power over us, but weren't necessarily great leaders, right? Well, not somebody we would call a leader as much as a boss, really just a boss or a manager, and not a leader. So, you know, what is leadership? Where do we end up on all of this? And, and how do we define leadership? Well, that's really the purpose of these next few videos and, and the start of our discussion in leadership. And we're going to begin really with the foundations of leadership by defining what we mean by leadership. And, and that will carry us through as a definition through this series of videos on leadership and communication. So, Let's start off by defining leadership first. Leadership is the ability of an individual or group to influence and guide others toward the achievement of a goal. That's the definition we're going to use for our purposes in our discussion of leadership here. The ability of an individual or group to influence and guide others toward the achievement of a goal. So let's take a look at some of the individual components of this and, and dig a little deeper there. First of all, leadership involves influencing and guiding. Note that we're not saying that influence uh, that leadership involves, you know, bossing others around or using that authoritative power. There's certainly a role for power in leadership and different ways that leaders can gain power. But, but leadership, as opposed to something like management or that corporate structure doesn't rely necessarily exclusively on authoritative power, the ability to uh, reward or to, to punish people. It involves influencing and guiding. Okay. So we're, we're really just almost more nudging people or, or instructing them and, and helping them grow. We're serving alongside them or we're, we're giving them the, the, um, the uh, ability to do these things on themselves or for themselves. So we're influencing and guiding as leaders rather than, you know, just using that authoritative power. Uh, secondly, leadership involves others. By definition, if you are a leader, then you should have followers or that's a part of leadership. It's hard to lead anyone but yourself unless there are others who are willing to follow you. So, um, so leadership involves others and that reminds us to be others focused or others minded right? that leadership involves other people. And we need to be aware of that. It's not just about what the leader wants or needs or, um, or feels like we should do there. There are others involved in this equation. So we need to, to bear that in mind as well. Uh, leadership also is about the achievement of a goal. You know, when we play follow with leader as a kid, that's, that's okay as kids, but there's no real purpose there, right? You're just following somebody around and trying to do what they do, but there's no real goal. There's no real winner or loser in that game, right? But, but leadership in the real world involves the achievement of a goal that people are working together toward something. And so a leader is leading people specifically to something and, and the achievement of that goal. So that's our very simple definition of leadership and what we're going to use here. So as we continue our exploration into the idea of leadership, we're going to break it down into a couple of different broader uh, categories, if you will. So uh, first, we're going to start with a few videos on the fundamentals of leadership, starting with this one and going into a couple of other areas as well, defining leadership versus management and some other things. So we'll start with the fundamentals of leadership. Then we'll take a look at some leadership styles and we'll break those down a little bit. The idea of, you know, that there are different styles for leaders. There's not one way to be a leader. So we'll take a look at some of the, the major leadership styles that have been identified and, and categorized. Then we'll look at some leadership communication strategies, some things that influence communication as a leader, things like power um, and, and, and a few others here that we're going to take a look at. But some of these different types of communication strategies and, and some major communication um, skills and premises that we need to keep in mind as leaders in order to lead people effectively.
And then finally, part of our discussion will, will center on performance and appraisal systems. As a leader, it's a big part of our uh, responsibility to provide feedback uh, on somebody's performance and to appraise how they're doing. Again, not necessarily to, to boss them around or to chastise them, but to, to help them to improve. We're working towards this goal. And as leaders, it's our responsibility to make sure everybody's performing in a way that's appropriate for the group and appropriate toward the achievement of that goal. So that's going to be the focus of our discussion on leadership as we move through uh, this series. I hope it'll be helpful to you in growing your knowledge of what leadership is and also your, your skills and your abilities as a leader yourselves. If you have questions about anything related to leadership, please feel free to email me. I'd be happy to, to chat with you about that. And uh, in the meantime, I hope you'll really start to dig in to this idea of leadership and this broader context of leadership and what we can do to become more effective leaders.